Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, your project so. cooking downstairs in the lab, and we just got a package. Thought we'd uh, take a look at our focusattack.com order. I'd do a little bit of an unboxing. But this is from a uh, arcade parts place, and I've never been there, but I'm guessing that this is not going to be retail packaging. I'm thinking more along the lines of a uh, bulk style overpack for a shipment. But you never know what you're going to get, so. These guys are just outside Allentown, Pennsylvania. We are down here in Baltimore. All right, so we got a packing list, as one might expect. And first up, we've got some translucent buttons. These are, I think they're pronounced Sumitsu. These are not the San Mods, but the Sumitsu. We are going to be building us. A joystick. Three translucent purples. Check. Four translucent blues. As ordered. Perfect. So far, so good. We know a couple pieces of this are pre order, back order. We ordered a Sumitsu LS56 with accompanying wire harnesses, USB cable. And a uh, keyboard encoder. We've got the optional add on eight way uh, restrictor adapter plate thingy. I don't know what they call these anymore. I think it's a restrictor or a eight way plate instead of the traditional whatever it comes with. Special wiring harness. I think this puts your joystick to the PCB or to your other. We got this. This is a um, like, like a Kyoko yellow or something like limited edition special color, and we've got two similar style buttons coming. So the uh, keyboard encoder can handle up to twelve buttons, I believe, uh, if you don't count the inputs from the joystick. So two neon yellow buttons. The, hopefully, the purple, blue, and the yellow will look nice. The other item, which is also in kind of a non-retail style pack, is the Sumitsu LS56, and I think it's a dash 01, which means instead of the individual connectors per micro switch, you just get this, I don't know how this is going to come through, you get this five-prong um, connector piece, which makes it real easy. Um, it also has a, uh, a mounting plate, a wider, thinner mounting plate attached to it. So I'm hoping to mount this on a, uh, a metal cab. Excuse me, I'm going to be designing a wooden cabinet. But I think this is designed for a uh, metal cabinet. You can see it's nice and thin. The low profile on this is excellent. That is, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half. It's all millimeters with this Japanese stuff. But I've got some good HAP stuff. I also own a Sumitsu LS30, which is one of those um, uh, old school arcade rotary joysticks. Yeah, but this feels pretty sweet. We're gonna be playing some games like uh, Don Pachi, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or uh, Do Don Pachi, or Do Don Pachi 2. So we've got the choice of the yellow or the black. I think this black is standard, as well as the uh, dust washer place. Dust washer plates and um, I forgot what they call that thing. The shaft cover, I suppose. So they didn't have it in the neon yellow, but two neon yellow buttons coming. And what we're going to do, and this is, we are not faux hammer or any of the bad boys, but we are into keeping costs under control. So our design, the joystick which we are going to build, is going to be a um, four buttons on the left here for your shmups. That's your doodon paches. We've got two yellow neon buttons, which I haven't decided on yet. They're either going to go here for the fighters, or they're going to be here and here for coin and um, player one start. We'll see about that. And then, um, of course, you have your uh, fighter style six there. This is just a crown. You can see a wooden box. Not too fancy. It's just coming along. It's just an old shelf cut in half and some 
two by threes, but um, should be pretty cool once we're done. This low, low profile um, joystick doesn't really need this much room underneath it, so I may go for a thinner board underneath. These uh, low profile screwing buttons also, they're not gonna need, I don't need half of this room that I have under here. But judging on the thickness of this plate, I'm gonna have to be doing some serious routing uh, underneath to get this thing to fit properly. So it will be interesting to see. Uh, probably go with something a little thinner than these uh, two by three uh, lumber, which we just had lying around. So hopefully, once it's all done and complete, we will have a um, a finished video for y'all um, showing off our shmups slash fighter joystick with our parts ordered from focusattack.com. Stuff came pretty quick. Happy so far. Now I just got to wait for the um, pre-ordered, not yet available, yellow buttons. Maybe I'll do a quick uh, add-on video for that. Anyway, we're going to take this stuff down to the lab, begin some pre-assembly, and for more adventures from the lab, stay tuned. Thanks. Hey, just a little follow-up. Um, got another package today. It's a few days later. Um, this should be the balance of our uh, original order. Um, follow-up to the unboxing. Shipped on time, just as expected. And arrived quickly and nicely. Some interior dunnage and a pack. Interesting. Neatly wrapped. Ah, yes, two as ordered. Simitsu screw in Kyosho or Kyoko Yellow or something. 30 millimeters, as advertised. Very nice. Thank you for shipping so quickly. These are gonna go nicely with the limited edition yellow ball top. Which we have right here. So these go with this. Should be cool. We've, um, we've done some more progress, working outside a little bit. As of today, we have holes drilled, but we still need to do some routing. This is the back, so. We are on our way, but that's the follow-up. For more adventures from the lab, stay tuned. Well, you can see we've got the buttons installed now. We had to do significant routing on the back side in order to make it thin enough for the joystick and the buttons to fit. Here you've got everything, almost everything, wired up and ready to go. We had to route a trench for the USB cable to go from the inside to the outside and it fits in there nicely. Also tied a little knot in the USB cable on the inside so if it got jerked or tugged it wouldn't rip out the electronics. We've got your um, blue buttons on the left for your doodon pachis, your purple buttons on the right for your street fighters. It turned out pretty close to the plans. Um, I'm pretty happy with what happened. Um, you can see that uh, You've got your right-handed and left-handed joystick availability, depending upon what genre of game you're playing. And uh, um, neon buttons, accompanied with the neon spray paint, also pop really nicely in the black light. Um, you've got some symbols, some custom artwork, some black outlinings. Basically, we did a lot of taping, spray painting, removing tape, painting another color, um, basically some cover-up techniques. 
And um, the clear coat stinks. The clear coat smells really bad. So be sure to do the clear coat with the acetone or acetate, whatever it is inside of it, outside. All in all, great fun project. I'm really happy with Focus Attack and their service. Really happy with the final deliverable. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching.